Today we'll be working with materials. This effect will make your 3D scenes look more realistic. That. Then we have two materials and we're ready to blend them together. By setting up the fall off map, we can change the amount of dust on our object. Hi everybody, welcome back to Render Courses. In this video, I'll show you how to create dust on your objects, guys. Today we'll be working with materials. This effect will make your 3D scenes look more realistic, that for sure. So here's today's scene. And here we have a dragon statue and HDRI map in the background. And so today you'll learn how to create this beautiful dust effect only by using materials. So before we get started, I would like to invite you to our big 3D visualization course. By attending our program and studying with us, you will learn how to create these amazing exterior and interior renders. These are all made by our students and they've created a number of great looking renders and visualizations. And so you can join us and become a great visualizer as well. If you want to master 3D visualization on a truly professional scale, make sure to sign up for our training program. It's called Render Courses. Our website is go.render.courses. Click the link in the description below and I'll be happy to see you there. So now let's go back to 3ds Max and let's get started. So we'll start by opening Slate Material Editor and you can easily open it by pressing the M key on your keyboard or by clicking this icon here. And just so that you know, I'm using Karana 9 and we select Karana Physical MTL over here and drag it to Editor. And now we need to assign it to the object. So we select the dragon and click assign material to selection. So let's launch the interactive render to be able to see how the scene will be changing in real time. So we click start interactive and interactive render is now running. The HDRI map that we have in the background is our source of light. So we can rotate the statue to see what it looks like. And so let's start to set up the materials. To create the dust effect, we're going to use the map called Fall Off. And let's see how it's done. So we'll go to Maps, General, and pick Fall Off. And we drag the map to Material Editor and link it to Base Color. And let's go ahead and see how it'll change our object. We can see this soft velvety sort of effect and you can use the fall off map to set up various fabrics among other things. So this map is a multifunctional thing. Although now we're not going to use the perpendicular slash parallel type and instead we'll select towards slash away. The effect has changed a little bit as fall off direction, we select world Z axis. The black and white gradient is now changing along the Z. The top areas are black, white. The bottom areas are white. You can see that our, um, sorry, you can see that on our object. And here we have mix curve. And what we can do is we can edit it and let's actually add a few points and make our curve more contrasting kind of like this. And as you can see, this is the effect we've achieved. We've created this transition between black and white and let's swap these two colors. We'll click swap colors and look what we've got now. I think it looks like a, a sculpture covered with snow, something like that. 
So keep that in mind. The fall off map can come in handy when you need to achieve a snow covered effect only with materials without generating any new geometry. So by changing the settings of this curve, we can adjust the transition between these two colors. And it looks like our statue is covered with dust or uh, some object like snow. Only the top parts are covered. And by editing the curve, we can change how strong this effect is. Let's leave it like this. This is how this map works. It's nothing too hard. Now let's add some complexity to our material. We'll create a base material, wood or metal, whatever. Let's go for wood. In addition to that, we'll need to create a material with dust. We'll have to work on the dust material because now it's spread on the object evenly. We can see gradients, but there's no finer details. It would be nice to add something that imitates real dust. Some points, some small elements like fingerprints or something. For textures, I like to go with Quixel Bridge because there you can search for dust maps and pick something like this, for example. There's a huge section of textures, actually. Let's pick something else. Something like this. Let's download that. And then we click export. It's this plus sign here. 3ds Max automatically generates the material and the texture. We do a double click on the material and delete it. And now the texture. Double click texture and then view image. And this is our texture. And as you can see, the gamma's messed up a little bit, so we need to adjust it. So we'll click load map. There we go. And switch to automatic. And clearly it looks better now. But we still need to change it a little bit. Because it's gray here in these areas. And what we need is a, a black and white map. So now we're going to link it to fall off. And we have two slots here, black and white. So we drag and drop the map and the white slot. See? Now we have dust particles and other finer elements on the object. And it looks cool. So let's make some changes to the map. Check enable color map. Let's make the map more contrasting. We add a point here and shift the curve down. So here's our dust. If there's no dust, make sure you have the UVW map applied to your object. Let's see. Select this object. The current type of mapping is box. And let's switch to planar. Mapping and increase the gizmo size. Right, so this is how we make the fine elements on the object bigger. If you don't like the map for some reason, you can replace it with another type. Let's scale it down to make the element smaller. And so now our statue has all of this dust, minor particles and so on. And it looks pretty cool. So now we need to blend these two materials, which is wood and dust. We're going to create two individual materials. We'll go to Karana Physical MTL, and we'll 
temporarily assign this wood material to our object. And now let's set it up. I've already picked the texture, here it is. Drag its material editor and link it to base color. And our mapping may look incorrect because its type is planar. Let's change it. Let's change it to box and see what will happen. The wood looks good already, but it would be even better if it had texture coordinates. So now let's add reflections onto the wood. So we set roughness to 0 0.9. Now actually let's change it back to 0 0.1. And now we've achieved this glossy, polished sort of effect. And I think that's enough. Now let's set up our other material. Select Corona Physical MTL again. And that will be our dust material. It will be some very basic. And let's set up its color. Let's make it brownish, orangey, something like orange dust. And then we have two materials and we're ready to blend them together. I'll select Corona Layered MTL and assign it to our dragon. And we get an error message. That's because we haven't set up the material yet. So we'll link our wood to base material. Our dust material will link to layer one. And now we need to blend them. For our blending, we're going to use fall off map that I've set up before. So we'll link it to mask one. There we go. And the wood is now delicately covered with dust, which looks cool. And by setting up the fall off map, we can change the amount of dust on our object. So for example, we can make the gradient softer like this. or we can even edit the dust map to make it less contrasting. So this is a fine dust. Maybe we should use another map actually. So let's see what else we've got here. As you can see, we have a huge selection of textures to choose from. We might not be able to choose right the first time. That happens pretty often. So for now, we'll go for this one. Let's download it and import to 3ds Max. Link it instead of the old one. And let's go ahead and adjust the fall off gradient. Something like this. Also, let's edit the map to make it more contrasting. All right, I guess that's it. Let's take a final look. I think that looks good. All right, guys, that's all for today. And once again, I invite you to join our big training course. You'll find the link in the description. Go ahead and sign up. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.